Dear Lord, we come to you today to ask why were these products even made? Worse. Motherfucker never loved us. Fucker never loved us. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all those who are new and welcome back to everyone who has been joining me on this journey. In the previous video, you got to see my top 16 of 2016, but 2016 did not have everything that was great. I found some things that I absolutely hate and I'm going to share that with you. There's no particular number, there's no particular order. I don't hate the brand, let me go ahead and say that. I just don't like some of these products. In fact, some some of these brands are my absolute favorite. In fact, some of these brands had things that were in my top 16. But these ones absolutely not only did not make the cut to my top, they didn't make the top to my makeup drawers in general. I hate them. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. Do not feel some type of way. I know that some of these products were great on other people. They don't necessarily work great on me, for me. Yeah, it is what it is. So let's jump right on in. So the first hate goes to the Nivea Shave Balm. Yeah, I know a lot of people swear by, but I fell into the hype. This could go into a YouTube made me buy it. I don't understand the purpose as primer. It's my fault for getting it. I love that it was inexpensive, but I think this will work better on a person who's actually shaving their face. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. The next I absolutely do not like at all are these squeeze tube concealers and I'm starting to think that if it's in this kind of tube that it has a specific kind of formula that just does not work on me at all so that includes the NYX gotcha covered the Maybelline master conceal the makeup forever ultra HD the it bye bye under eye bye bye I hate them they don't work good on me they were a waste for glamorous by amorous and I don't like them point blank period Moving right along, the next I don't like is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. And I'm going to sound like a hypocrite because I have a whole video using this foundation. The concept is nice. I think a dry skin person may find great use out of this, but I don't know what this is. It just does not work for me. Maybe it's too oily, maybe it is too sheer. It just doesn't look good on my skin. I don't like it. The next I hate product it doesn't do anything for me and that is the benefit roller lash mascara now i love the concept the wand is great it just on my lashes it makes them really stiff like two pointy straight kind of clumps together it just it's it's not cute. It doesn't work for me. I rather use my Too Faced Better Than Sex any day and it's not because I'm partial to that mascara. It's because this one kind of sucks. I love you Benefit. The next one goes to the Maybelline Age Rewind and I know you guys are looking like but half of it is gone. That's because I have to use this on clients because on myself it just it's thick. It's too light. It's ugly it's doesn't dry down how I like it to. It's a hot mess. This one is an absolute no. It does work on some clients that I have put this on but on myself nah. So my next I hate slash YouTube made me buy both of these. This is the MAC 135 and this is the Morphe M527 and as you can see this was meant to be a dupe of this and I don't know how people contour with this. Like how? Like where? First of all, these are designed as powder brushes, not contour brushes. I don't know how they're picking up anybody's powder and applying it evenly and smoothly on anybody's face because I do not see that at all. And then again, how on earth do you contour? Because this just does not do the job either of them. I mean, if anything, this one is okay. I tried to love this one. Everyone loves this one. I just, it just doesn't work for me. And that's what drives me crazy. It's just that they just don't work for me and I'm not throwing them away especially this MAC one because it was very expensive just for me just it just they it doesn't do anything it doesn't do anything some of my favorite gurus and I don't know if they were just sponsored because one this isn't a brand that's talked about a lot two I don't see it going around YouTube and three it came out of nowhere and I should have caught on that all of a sudden some of my favorite top gurus were all of a sudden all talking about the same product and then the next day they were not 
Joke's on me, because I rushed out and bought it, and that is the number seven Airbrush Away Foundation. It's a shame that I hate it. I love it because the coverage and the finish is beautiful. It's like, how did they get an airbrush finish in a little squeeze droplet container, right? The color is what's terrible. It has the worst gray undertone. I don't know what they thought that brown skin had a gray undertone. Like it's like a contour gray and an ugly contour gray. As much as I want to love it, like you guys can probably see the gray undertone. I can't throw this because I got to screw this on. Hate it. The next don't like for 2016, it already threw itself. It didn't want to even have a cameo. Hold on. The Duo Brush On Adhesive with Vitamins. I don't know what made me want to try this. I love the original Duo but this first of all it's iridescent and you see that iridescent when you brush it on your lashes it's so watery that it soaks down into the false lash and doesn't actually stick on the band and I just can't get over that it has an iridescent duochrome in the glue like why and how so when this product flew out my hands so the products already knew it's got to go the original duo absolutely so wrapping it on up for my last absolutely hit product and that is the NYX lingerie lippies. I despise these. I hate them. Like I don't know what it is. I don't know why I hate them so bad to be completely honest with you. Some of the colors are pretty. I think I just hate the wand. I hate the moussey texture. I don't even like all of the colors. I don't like the consistency. I don't like the finish. Like I don't like them and I jumped on this bandwagon. You know first of all First of all, all this is my fault for jumping on the bandwagon, okay? You know, it was a dupe to the Kylie lip kits. It's so wonderful and inexpensive. It's terrible and I and I hate them and I bought all of them and they just sit here and I'm trying to tell myself maybe one day you'll surprise yourself and like them, but for now it's a no. Stuff those to the side. Again, this is no jab to the brands in general. I spoke about Benefit. I have one of my Benefit products of favorite of all time. It was in my top 16. I spoke about Becca, another product from Becca in my top 16. It's not the brand. It's just those specific products. And not even the products are terrible. Some of them just didn't work for me. But you know, I'm salty because I spent the money on it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant and my worst of 2016. My worst for me for 2016. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.